Okay, so another way of keeping your PC healthy and clean mm -hmm. is by using some health utilities that already exist on your PC, and one of those is called um, a defragmentation utility. Yes. Now, with operating systems like Windows, uh, just in their normal running and operating, um, you'll find that some files get fragmented and they get stored on your hard drive and that inhibits the proper usage and, and um, operation of your hard disk. Yeah. So every, not very often, but like every once so often, you should um, defrag your, defrag, defragment your files and they call it defrag for short. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna show you how to defragment your system drive, your C drive, because that's the only one you really need to worry about the most. That's right. So um, it's a very, very simple procedure. What you do is you open up Windows Explorer, you go into where you see under my computer, you'll see Windows C, right click on Windows C, hit your properties um, icon, which is the very bottom one. You'll see a little window pop up, which has got general, and it's got a picture of graphical representation of your disk to show you how much free space and use space that you've got. Um, and then you'll see a whole bunch of tabs. And next to general, you'll see one called tools. So if you hit the tools tab, You'll see the second one down is called defragmentation. This option will defragment the files on your drive. And so when you hit defragment now, then it will quickly show you a graphical interface of um, your C drive and tell you which one, because normally it has a schedule, which is interesting. So you can hit the analyze disk and this one's already got the, oh, well, they're telling me that 0% is fragmented. But have you analyzed them yet? I have not, so let's analyze it. You hit the analyze disk button and it will start running a, um, a procedure to calculate how much of your C drive, in this instance, has been fragmented. While that's running, and we might explain what fragmentation is. Please do. Is, right? So when you, have a, uh, when you have a file on your computer, it doesn't actually live in the same spot on the hard drive. So you've got a thing called a master file table. Yep. And basically, because it's like we've, we've gone through this in other episodes, a, a hard drive is like a record player. That's right. And effectively, it'll, it'll write the files where it can find good space. Different yeah? lines. Yeah, that's right. And this one big uh, table at the back says, okay, I need this bit, this bit, this bit to put together a file. Yep. As you delete stuff and, you know, add, create content and move it around and things like that, it becomes fragmented. So when the drive and the computer has to reassemble a file that you've clicked on, it just gets slower and slower. And, and so defragmenting basically cleans it up, just puts them all as close in, it, uh, in a mo more contiguous slice, yeah, right. line, right. slice. So when it reads a file, it just reads one area. Yeah, that's right. So this has just done its little uh, analysis and it says that my C drive is 1% fragmented. Which is not which isn't a lot. It's not really worth worrying about. I mean, if you get anything over 10%, then yes, definitely. Um, in that case, what you do is you hit the defragment disk button, which is right next to the analyze disk button. And once you press that, it will start defragmenting the, um, the disk drive. Hmm. And that's right now running. And they've got a little stop operation, but it'll go through. It takes a little bit of time. Once it's done that, your um, disk will actually, once it's been defragmented, because also if you delete certain files, you can't really delete them completely. The little bits and pieces get left over. Well, when you delete a file, you don't actually remove it. What you're telling the computer Bring is that you space. can overwrite that yeah. next time. So you're absolutely right. All temporary files, cabinet files, all these sorts of things just end up getting all over the place. That's right. Hmm. That's right. So they lead to fragmentation. A fragment, lots of fragmentation within your C drive can inhibit operation and slow you down. So. Not very often, this isn't something you need to do weekly, this is something you need to, I mean, having said that, if you're installing and uninstalling and installing and uninstalling, then yeah, maybe. These are things to check if your computer feels like it's going sluggish, yeah. and you see the hard drive light seems to be on all the time. Yeah, you know, there's a that it's working hard. Sit. Yeah, it's just going and nothing seems to be occurring. There's lots of reasons why that can happen, but um, this might be one of them. Yeah, so process of elimination, if your computer starts to get a little bit slow, Defragmenting the hard drive is definitely one of those things that you can do to just as a, a tick, tick that off mm -hmm. so that we can, you know, minimize what it could be. And um, if after the operation is completed, you're still having, well, then you know to look elsewhere as to find out what exactly is making your computer slow. Typically as well, this will happen for a computer you've had for a long time yes. and you haven't rebuilt it. If you've yes. got a brand new and it's doing this, it's probably not 
uh, fragmented drug. Yeah, that's correct. But just something to bear in mind, something to keep um, as one possible solution that you can use. Yeah, thank you. Thanks.